All right, so this is the HBO Max uh, raised by Wolf Season 1. Uh, unfortunately, it is a, a episode per week, so that's why I, it took me as long as to do this. I wanted to watch. I like to binge watch. Um, so the plot of this is, and I wasn't really sure what to think of the trailer, but it had what drawn me to it was Travis Fim Fimmel, isn't it? You know, a.k.a. Roy Regner Lothbrook. Uh, I've been waiting to see him in something, uh, another TV show is a main role. Um, the plot of it is, it's, it's a future end of the world. Humans destroy the earth from war or, um, you know, the typical toxic air. Uh, interesting enough, this, the war that is in this, and it's still after, uh, they claim the war is over, but they got, it's between, um, Religious nut jobs and uh, atheists. Um, so when I found that out in the first episode or a couple episodes, I, I didn't know where to go with that because I'm I'm I I mean I'm a person that's open minded and respectful of other people's opinions, uh, but I, I also just don't like it forced. And I'm not going to go fully into it because that's not what this is about. But I want to touch briefly on what I think. So I was a little bit curious of how they're going about it. They definitely put sides, both sides, questionable. Uh, but it's not like, you know, it's a fantasy movie. It's a fantasy movie that is directed by Ridley Scott. And you can clearly see that within the first episode of his style. Um, and what I can reference it's him too is and what this word strong reminds me of is the past two alien movies um from the dark tent to the androids that are in here uh they the androids out of all the things um stand out the most it's literally like he just took the androids from the idea of the alien franchise and put them in here Everything 100% about them, even when they bleed, they have that white milk uh, coming out of them, blood-wise. Um, they, they, again, obviously they have androids in here, and they have two different types. Um, one is just your standard one, and then you have one that's played by Amanda Collins, and... Um, She's, she's this very, her first couple episodes, she was very, very creepy, and she just went psycho. Uh, so her and, um, I'm, excuse me for butchering his name, Al Butcher Solman. Um, he plays father, and Amanda plays mother. There are these two drawings that are sent to another planet to raise kids to start over. Um... So her character kind of turns into this flying, pilling thing. Uh, it's, it's just really just eerie and interesting. And I don't want to get into too much of it because there's a lot to this that I don't want to tell because it's something you should check out. Uh, even, either, either way if you feel about it. Um, so what I was surprised is, is uh, both of their... Um, characters um were had a, a very interesting story arc to them they had definitely a lot of story arcs and why i find that interesting is because i wasn't expecting it because they're droids uh well they're uh, uh androids sorry uh, technically same thing and um They, they, they definitely, whoever, the people who played this, Amanda and Abroko, uh, definitely did a well job of a train between a human and an android. Uh, you know, you got feels and kind of emotions, all, all, like a whole bunch of stuff to them that I did not at all see coming. And the whole difference well, of uh, emotions and stuff to them were really good. Uh, I, I definitely say, and I don't write, know what they else been in, 
and honestly, I, I couldn't have really judged them any, on anything else. They did an excellent job, again, betraying between, um, you know, real life humans to androids. Uh, so the kind of robot type of voice of how they, they don't know exactly what motions are and so they, how they ask questions and stuff of people. Um, it is a weird show. It, is, it really is. There's definitely some, um, it's not as weird as I was told, but there's definitely like a couple of spots that took me so back because we're just so out of, out of the norm. Out of the norm. Uh, I don't really even know what the hell was going on with that spot. So there's like a little bit of a, I'm a little obviously missing something. Uh, I could be wrong, but I believe this was based on a book. Um, I believe I heard that. And it looks like it was. So I guess I'd have to read the book to understand. And I don't know how true it is to the book. Um, Travis Film Filmo's uh, character in here. I didn't exactly like how where it ended up. Um... I, from the trailer, I knew he was going to be a certain way, or uh, it kind of came off that way. Um, but uh, again, I didn't really like how it went his direction. Um, some stuff I thought was obvious was going to happen, but then it didn't happen, and there are certain things that did happen. Uh, you got a bit, definitely got, I got a lot of cultness to him. Now, what I love about the Solon, I believe it's they're called the God, they're called that they worship. Is there's a whole bunch of, um, I feel like it was a, a reference uh, or expire, inspired by the Knights Templar. Uh, from what they're wearing, it looks a lot like Knights Templar combined with kind of uh, Mad Max punk type of thing. Um, and definitely there's shots of um, going across the desert and you know, how they're going out while they're carrying a guy reminds me a lot of uh, the Knights Templar uh, from, when I, from what I've seen of it. Um, um, uh, the story is definitely interesting. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like, I don't know if you would say it's, it's what you would, the word you would use it for. Um, what I'll go with is interesting. Very interesting. I was immersed into it. The first episode I wasn't necessarily a fan of, uh, from the the awkwardness and cringiness of uh, the androids, but then they definitely get way better. Um, and you were definitely within the first couple episodes. You want to know what exactly is going on, and definitely you know what's going on. You definitely think you're something's going to happen, and you don't. You know, it's a lot of things. I will point out, and this, this review is going on long enough is the weather on this planet is just so random. So they're in the desert or they're in the forest, right? And it is just hot out and, you know, bright out. The next day, it is all freaking snowing and everything. Um, another thing I'll point out is, and I'll get specific who this is around, you definitely got, I watched the, uh, towards the end, and there's definitely something that, like screams alien, you know, uh, type of thing. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I really, really am interested to see what happens in season two. Uh, apparently, they already um, filmed it, I believe, my stepdad said. Um, and they, for some reason, they haven't released it yet. I don't know. Uh, it's a European thing. I, I really don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I, I honestly would give this four and a half out of five stars. Um, definitely did a great job with the story. Definitely some odd stuff and some weird stuff that I didn't get. Um, but let me know in the comments below. Uh, have you heard of this? Have you read the books? How accurate is this? Um... Yeah, I, I love you all. Please subscribe. And I am going to be doing next on my list of TV shows to binge watch is the next season of uh, The Boys. Uh, I've been waiting for them to, you know, get all the episodes out so then I can binge watch it. Um, so I'll look forward to that. Uh, please hit the bell icon so you know. And uh, Viking out.